Thank you, Janet. I'm glad I went ahead of you. <laughs> the student keynote speaker is selected by a faculty committee. Any member of the graduating class can submit a speech. This year, six excellent speeches were examined by our committee. While all of them would have been very appropriate for tonight, the one written by Lance Jarrers was deemed the best. Lance is a superb representative of the class of 2019, as he has truly embraced his experience at Bromfield. He is an accomplished athlete who captained both the golf and baseball teams this year. In fact, the golf team won its first district championship this year, with Lance being one of the leaders. I was equally, if not more, impressed by the way he worked to promote school spirit by helping his buddy, Alex McGann, keep a Bromfield Twitter feed of all Bromfield events, not just athletics, drama, concerts, all things. Even more remarkable is his commitment to helping others and bringing a smile to everyone's face. Whether it is dressing like a superhero at an imaginary shin ball at Children's Hospital, of volunteering at Camp Sunshine. Lance is the type of person who will, who will help without being asked and is willing to do the little, unnoticed things that help an organization flourish. It has been a privilege to get to know Lance over the past seven years, and it is my true pleasure to introduce this year's student speaker, Lance Jarris. Principal Hoffman, members of the school board, parents, family, friends, and of course my fellow graduates, it is an honor to speak to all of you here today. A little over 12 years ago, I was six years old and I remember my first day of kindergarten. I was excited with my super cool Power Rangers lunchbox and um, my parents were there snapping pictures with their camera and wishing me well as I was about to embark on a long journey in which the trip was very unknown. But here I am today. I'm alive, I'm well, and my parents are here. I'm sure they're taking millions and millions of pictures. I didn't bring my super cool Power Rangers lunchbox this time though, sadly. But now things are different. 12 years ago, I was excited to be in kindergarten, but I had no idea about the implications of the journey that I was about to begin. I wasn't thinking that after kindergarten there'd be you know, first grade and second grade and so on. I was just, you know, excited to be in kindergarten. When's lunch? When can I go play kickball over there? When's recess? But before I continue my, my spiel of wisdom and inspiration, I think we all believe that this day involves many words that must be said, people who must be recognized, gratitude that must be conveyed. Firstly, to our parents. Thank you for supporting us in more ways than it's possible to count. You dragged us out of bed each morning, made sure we were fed and clothed for school. You hurried us out the door to the bus stop, or you even drove us to school yourselves. You helped us with homework. You even listened to our complaints. You came to our plays, attended our sporting events, and even chaperoned some of our field trips. You watched over our daily dramas, but you tried to give us enough space to become independent. And these are just a few of the thousands of ways that you've supported us on this journey. And for that, we are forever grateful. To our teachers, thank you for so unselfishly sharing your time, your talent, and your knowledge with us. Yes, we do know that it's like your job to do and you get paid to do that. But what you did for us went beyond the call of duty. You took the time to explain assignments repeatedly because we probably weren't paying attention. Um, you allowed us to come to your classroom after school for extra help when you could have gone home and spent time with your own family. You put in the effort to make lessons more interesting so we wouldn't just tune out, just forget about them. You demanded excellence from us whether or not we wanted to give it. You set the bar high and you challenged us to live up to it. And for that, we are forever grateful. To our coaches and our advisors, thank you for making school about more than just the classroom. Through sports, we learn how to power through adversity and give it our best effort, win or lose. But 
I think most kids in this class, we, we prefer winning. That staff senior game. Back-to-back -back state champs for boys soccer. We learn the importance of discipline and good sportsmanship through that. And through other activities, like participating in clubs and school plays and even service projects. We learn how to work closely with others to achieve a common goal. And we had a lot of fun doing it. And for that, we are forever grateful to our custodial staff and lunchroom attendants. Thank you for keeping our school clean and safe, along with our bellies full. You know better than anyone else what slobs we've been while we're here. And I actually think you deserve some kind of medal. And Chef Paul, you magnificent icon. <laughs> we are forever grateful for your presence. And yes, we are forever hungry. <laughs> to our principal, vice principal, and all the office staff. Thank you for keeping things running smoothly so our teachers could concentrate on us alone. We may not consistently show it as much as we should, but trust me, we're better for it, and we are forever grateful. And finally, to our guidance counselors. Thank you for listening, listening, and listening. Oh, and keeping us on the right track to be here today, that, that was pretty helpful too. I mean, without your help, some of us might not even be up here. And we are forever grateful for that. We began high school as children, but now we're leaving here as adults. We've completed a basic education that will serve as a platform we use to launch ourselves into our own futures. Some of us to college, others to the workforce, but each of us will travel our own path. No matter where we go or what we do, there are challenges ahead of us. What I'm asking from each of you from myself is to meet those challenges straight on with a head held eye and a heart wide open. It's not enough to just simply try to just get by in life. That doesn't move the world forward. We must try to excel in everything we do, strive for excellence in every task we take, large or small. Although it may not be easy to see, every accomplishment we achieve is then added to the world's accomplishments as well. Our individual success benefits society as a whole because when we succeed, we lighten the burden on our fellow man. When we succeed, we are in a position rather to give rather than take. Imagine if every individual in this class lived up to his or her own potential. Think about how amazing that would be, and how much better the world off would be. While we may not have the power to inspire the entire world to strive for success, we do have the power to try and to achieve it ourselves. My challenge to each of you, as I said, and my challenge to myself, is to do all that you can do to reach your full potential. If each of the 105 students in this graduating class is able to reach their full potential, just imagine the impact they would have. So guys, my fellow graduates, the future is truly in our hands. So let's make the most of it. On to bigger things we go. Thank you.